Hey to Zed, Domain to Genus here, and welcome back to Eleven Enlightenments. On this week's episode, the Andean Condor. The Andean Condor is a New World Vulture of the family Cathartidae, although the placement of New World Vultures could also be argued to lie in the family Asipitridae with the Old World Vultures, and its true placement remains uncertain. As a New World Vulture, the Andean Condor is found within the Americas, about the Andes, the mountain range after which it is named. The word condor comes from the word kunta of the Quechua languages, which are languages spoken by the Quechua people who live about the Andes too. The species is also known as the Argentinian, Bolivian, Chilean, Colombian, Ecuadorian or Peruvian condor, depending upon the country one's found in. The binomial name of the Andean condor, Volter griffus, comes from the Latin volter, meaning vulture, and the Greek grippos, meaning hooked nose. V. griffus is the only accepted species of the genus volter. This is due to the limited fossil record of the Andean condor, but there was possibly a smaller subspecies with the given binomial name V. griffus patrus, which was found in Bolivia. The fossil dates back to the Pliocene epoch, though it was incomplete. Within their range, Andean condors tend to roost upon high places so that they may launch into flight without major wing flapping effort. This is because V. griffus lacks a large sternum to anchor its large flight muscles, and therefore soaring is preferred due to this physiological characteristic. If not taking flight from a position of high altitude, then Andean condors will flap their wings, but only until they can soar with aid from heat thermals. Wingspans of Andean condors can reach a maximum of 3.3 meters. This not only enables V. griffus' soaring habits, but also places it as having one of the largest wingspans of any living birds, as well as being the largest living flying bird. This is in spite of the species not only being of shorter wingspan than other birds, but also being, on average, shorter from beak to tail tip than other species, such as North America's largest land bird, the California condor. There is, as with many bird species, a difference in size between the two genders of V. griffus, an example of sexual dimorphism within the species. However, V. griffus' sexual dimorphism differs from that of other bird species, since male Andean condors are larger than the females. Other differences between the genders include the colour of their irises. Males are brown and females are dark red or garnet coloured. Male Andean condors also have a caruncle above the beak, where females do not. Not only is the record for the world's largest flying bird held by V. griffus, but, for a time, the record of longest-lived bird was also held by the Andean condor. In 1983, an Andean condor broke the world record as it died after 72 years in captivity. The age at which it was captured is unknown. This was later succeeded by another Andean condor who died in 2010, at the age of 79. There have been records of other birds, notably parrots, living longer than this, but in 1983, these had not been verified. For being such a long-lived bird, it seems appropriate that V. griffus takes a relatively long time to reach maturity. Though the young can fly after six months, chicks roost with their parents for up to two years, and only reach sexual maturity at the age of five or six years. The chicks are far more vulnerable to predation than the adults too, who have no natural predators. However, the parent size and nest's locations make predators rare. Parent Andean condors are monogamous and are thought to mate for life. The parents take turns to incubate laid eggs, which are between 7 and 10 centimeters long and bluish white in color. These eggs are normally laid every two years when they displace the older chicks. However, if an egg is lost, another egg is often laid. This behaviour is used by conservationists to double the Andean condor birth rate, and the first egg is taken to be hand-reared. 
Captive bred Andean condors are raised using sock puppets. This prevents the young imprinting onto humans, and when they are to be released into the wild, they are kept in aviaries with similar conditions to their natural environment, for three months before release. In 1989, captive bred Andean condors were first released into the wild. However, in 1988, a group of female V. Griffiths were temporarily released into California, so as to replace the California condors, who had all had to be taken into captivity at the time. Both species are now being reintroduced to their native regions. V. Griffiths may have interactions with many different species of scavengers and carrion eaters. The most notable of these are the New World vultures of the genus Cathartis. The vultures of Cathartis forage by sense of smell, unlike V. Griffiths which uses sight for foraging. But often aren't strong enough to open up carcasses of larger animals. It is at these larger kills where the Andean condor arrives, having followed the cathartas. It is able to tear through hides too tough for the other scavengers, and once V. Griffiths is finished, the other vultures may eat too. This benefits both the Andean condor as well as the smaller cathartas, and is an example of mutual dependence between the species. And with that, this has been 11 Enlightenments, see you next time.